So what have you made of Ljubljana so far? Oh man, do it again. Let me set up and do it again, bro. No. <laughs> That good, huh? So as you, so as you may have been able to gather from that glowing review, we are in Ljubljana. Here he comes. And tonight we're off to watch Slovenia's second most successful club, Olympia Ljubljana. He won a bunch of titles before Slovenia was independent, but have only won five since, and they were all in a row. Although they're running away with the league at the moment. But tonight's a cup game against a fourth tier side from Gorica, which is right on the Italian border. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. The stadium's not fully open, so I don't know what the atmosphere is going to be like. But a lot of kids are being let in for free, apparently, which is nice. We'll see what that, what they are, what they're like, whether they enjoy the match or not. Yeah, we need to hop on the bus now. So I'll probably see you at the ground. There's a goal in the multi-story car park. Yeah, did you bring a ball? No, that's for um, that's for if the, the, the goal's too big again. <laughs> they're yeah. soaring off, they got a spare one. Got a spare one. <laughs> and like uh, some kind of office-ish situation. Are you going on there? That looks like no, that guy looks like a professional. That looked a lot like someone's office. Sort of above, like level with the floodlights at the moment. I'm trying to work out how to get in. It's all a bit odd. This anti marable sticker on the hand dryer is crazy. Poor, poor homeless marable bird. Must be the star man, Mr. Panukic. He's the only one that got a big shout. Oh, so they're another team they've retired the number 12. Some of the green dragons have turned up in their end. I'm not entirely sure if any more are coming. They've but <laughs> They've set up their little display. Right. We've got the popcorn man. Carrying his popcorn oh, around. Straight to you, what a, what a guy. <laughs> set piece routine. Shoots! Oh! It's been one way traffic so far. And it really does look like a Sunday League team has rocked up at the Champions. I mean, look, they don't even have the names on the back of their shirts. The Invicia Gorica players. They look like they work for the. Um, they look like they work for like. All right, can I get your score prediction, please? Uh, 6-0 to Ljubljana. I reckon they're going to wipe it. I think that's a, fair, that's a fair prediction, given it's fourth tier versus the current top flight league leaders. It's like watching, like, like Gillingham versus, like, Arsenal, isn't it? Yeah, I think we could see a bit of a cricket score here. I'm going to go for 8-0. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see I'm going to up on six was a bit bold, but hey, yeah. I'll tell you what, you'd be surprised the, uh, the quality gap, even within the league. Yeah. So we'll see, we'll see what happens, but I'm expecting a, a bit of a one-sided game, aren't we? Yeah, atmosphere is, uh, considering 
Man with the horn. New kitsch again, tucking the shot away nicely from a good pass from out there. There was no tapping, he had to slot that way nicely, the keeper running on him. It's been light work so far. But 23 minutes in, only 2 0. I, expect, I expected more. Less than eight minutes in, the deadlock's broken. And it is the man they were all cheering for at the beginning. The number nine, I forgot his name. But Olympia have the lead already. This could be a very long day. Good to see the Green Dragons taking a stance against modern football. I don't know what bit they're unhappy about. Oh, gotta shoot. I didn't, what a coward. Floodgates have opened. Really bad defending from a corner. And the goal scorer was left completely unmarked in the six yard box to tap home the cross. I mean, this could be anything now. Could be anything. The um the Ljubljana players actually think they're a bit better than they are. Oh my god! Yeah, they're not going full bottle, are they? Yeah, they keep trying to do all these like, little like slick maneuvers around, thinking that they're gonna, you know, like, it's gonna be a walk in the park to get around them. But they're forgetting that the repetition, they're just playing like fucks. <laughs> and they're just like grab or kick or like push. They've been slide tackling at, at everything like, so far. I reckon if if they haven't got a goal and there's another two before half time, they're coming back on and putting <laughs> the players. Let's see a short corner routine. Oh, he's got him. Oh, go on. Oh, oh not a great save. Oh. The keeper's oh. keeping them in it. I'm not going to lie, their keeper's carrying the team right now. Travelling out for <laughs> More of the same on the pitch though. He's been finding his range all night. He's finally tucked it away. From just outside the edge of the area first time. Lovely finish to be fair. 4-0. As we get close to half time. Yeah, I know, but it's quite big. I don't know, man. Half time, and it is Olympia Ljubljana 4, um, Ivicka Gorica nil. Sort of the one way traffic we expected, right? Yeah. Then, I kind of watch that. I kind of watch that. I reckon 6. Is very doable. My eight might have overshot it a little bit. We'll see. Well, they've still got a second half to uh, score the same amount of goals, you know. I mean, yeah, but you don't generally get as many in the second half. Uh, although, who knows? I mean, this is a cup game after all. They've got some of the weapons still on the bench. Olympia, if need be. Um, I think the highlight, though, for me, I don't know about you was the big cheer from the ultras when the, um, the striker skied it and then they nicked the ball. Big yeah, highlight. That's, like, that's, like, that's the happiest day you've seen to have been. <laughs> they didn't really cheer any of the goals. Like, they just thought, they just, they just care about swipe they can get also like shot the time out. Like, like I mean, I, I wonder how heavy the popcorn thing is. The second half is underway. Chance for a Greek break. Uh, I'll be so out well. No hat trick for Mustafa Nukic. What a shame. He does look a bit gutted to be fair. He's still had over half an hour to get his hat trick. That's going to take a proper corner for a change. Bang! 
Oh. Here we go. What a surprise. Oh, there they come. A couple of them have done it. The away fans running on the pitch. <laughs> Crazy. Well, fair play. Might be their biggest ever game of the club's career, or history even. We have a fifth, I think. The ref's given it. Fifth in the last ten seconds. With ten seconds to play. Lino's ruled it out, but it came up the defender, so it's definitely a goal. The ref obviously knows the rules, and the linesman doesn't. But for one last time, I mean, it was literally a tap in. It came off the defender. Uh, Aldair had already made the run. He just squared it to um, Pedro, and he couldn't miss. A gift right at the end. What's been a quite slow second half. A couple of kids are screaming his name, no one else. Sad times. Two minutes to go. Will Lawrence's prediction be bang on or not? Time will tell. Free kick attempt. Bit further out. He's got it, the wall. And then again. Oh, way wide, blimey. The second half's been quite slow, I think it's fair to say. I think at half time everyone accepted the result. It was a sleepy, it was a sleepy second half time. You really think we've got 10 minutes left? We think we were in the last five. We think we've been in the last five for the past 10. They're very proud even though they lost 4 0. Yeah, to be fair, I'm not sure they know what quite what to do. The Ljubljana fans, the Ljubljana players. They're trying to Olympia. Tribuna server. No fans, just ultras. Bloody hell. I don't think I've ever seen so many stickers on one door. Jesus. So it finished Olympia Ljubljana 4. No, 5. It was 5, wasn't it? We got one. We got, we got one, one second half goal. Seconds. I lived in the last ten seconds of. Um, and it was a total gift. The uh, original time. Well, I thought it was quite nice that all the uh, away fans still had a good time. Biggest game in their history, I believe. So, fair the play away, to them. The away fans sounded like they were having more fun than. Um, yeah, it felt like a bit. Of, it, it did feel like a bit of a chore for everyone involved there as Olympia yeah. Olympia yeah. persuasion. What about that one? That's a good one. All right, I'll bust it to you, yo. Maybe. Earlier it's, than we it's, thought. It's maybe here. That's lit. It's um, maybe here, man. Yeah, it just it did seem more like a chore than um something that everyone was trying to enjoy. But you know, everyone's still having their popcorn and their candy floss and their beer. Just chilling. So it was a it was a good fun, but I would have liked it to be a yeah, bit it's busier. Not, it's not coming around, bro. Is it not? No. Are we in the wrong stop maybe? The last two buses no, are that Tom. way. So they're all they're going like that. I think they're carrying on to where they're going. So I reckon it will come round from that side of. So it's on that side of the road. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, um, I mean, maybe if like at the weekend when Maribor were in town, it would be a bit more lively. But you know, we'll take what we can get. I enjoyed it still. Didn't you? I think it was a decent game. You know, for like ten euros, and you're getting a like. Pretty like decent stadium, right? like the same as what you'd pay to see like home away, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like when you think about it, and like 
Although I think the sign said it was 15 normally, didn't it? Yeah, because I thought they were going to charge 15. They were like 10, 10. So, <laughs> Don't worry, bro. Also got a free program for the national team game that was there like a, over a week ago now. That was just in pallets. Which obviously kind of shows that they just... <clears throat> shout out the shout out the Slovenian Football Federation for that one, and also the no one returned any of the balls they got kicked into the crowd. They just got to keep them. Pretty mad. But they've they've also got more money than they ought to do with. Yeah. So yeah. they should have given us a shirt, but we weren't at the front, so I guess yeah. you can't complain. And we, too and much. we weren't on, under the age of like twelve. So sadly, I don't think we were in the running. Hey, an old lady got one. Yeah, but she's an old lady, man. It's normally children and old people, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose. All right, well, until the next time. Ciao. See you later. Trekking in blood. Ugh. Up these stairs. God dang. I'm nearly at Machu Picchu, bro. It's steep as shit. <laughs> 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 oh, <man. sighs> but it should be worth it at the top. Got the castle. Damn, Doge was here. <laughs> Funky caves. And a man. Back lake side, my preferred side. Oh, hold up, they got to spin the rock over there. The bell tolls for this young one. There, it goes hard. Some of these boats to save the rows are crazy. Imagine nipping out in that little bad boy. Got the goddamn village in the mountains. As we head off to the gorge, basically I'm refusing to pay the 10 pounds for the shuttle bus there and back. It's only a 40 minute walk, piece of cake. So the other day I got into a scrap and my lip bled. Not fun. Look at the mountains though. Look at them. It's like something out of an old movie. Damn, we're in gorge country. Getting hella canyony. Still being tailed. Shit, it's all right. We'll be there soon, I promise. If I was never gonna tie someone to the train tracks, I think this would be the place. You can just hop on, no strings attached. Well, down there, there's a... There's a sacrifice you could have sacrificed. <laughs> she would have lost on her own. I think her ginger boyfriend would have fought us. Although 2v1, he didn't stand a chance. It's a 3v2 because he's got a dog, bro. The dog. Man, the dog will probably back us up. It knows its owners are a bunch of lames. As we head into the misty woods. This can only end well, right?
the colour of the Spoon's Blue Lagoon picture. And there's a footy ball. Here we have a fishy. Thank you, David Attenborough. There's three, I see. Fish. So this is Sean and Charlton. Fish. Stevie G's fish. This water is so clear, it's ridiculous. Does the wooden teepee go hard or not? Let me know in the comments. I think it looks pretty sick. And here we are, the finale. The waterfall before it just goes off into the distance. All right, time to head back to Ljubljana, me thinks. At Olympia, I was bitterly disappointed. There was no scran apart from popcorn and candy floss. So I've got the real dog today. Hopefully it's decent. Oh. I'm here today at the Shishka Sports Park for NK Bravo versus Selj in the Priva Liga. So we had a cup game midweek, and now I'm here for the, the league today. Um, it is second versus seventh, but seventh beat the league leaders in the last home game here, 6-1. That was Olympia who we saw the other day. So I'm hoping this might be another nice even contest, but I mean, who, who knows, honestly. Um, I expect, uh, I don't know what to expect, actually. I'm not... Massively au fait with the Slovenian Priva Liga. This is obviously my first game live here. But uh, yeah, I'm just enjoying it. Um, hopefully, going to enjoy a decent spectacle. I've seen from the squads a couple of recognizable names um, Andre Kram. Kramanic, the old Czech striker, is the Bravo captain these days. So we'll see what we'll see what happens. I'm hoping for a good contest anyway. Um, just the queue for hot at the minute it is not the nicest weather here in Ljubljana on our final day here. Um, sort of feeling a bit more like England, only slightly warmer. But we'll see what happens on the field. Sand pit a little too close to the pitch for my liking. Someone's definitely gets shoved in there. There's even one on the other side. Seventh versus second, what are you going for? I'm going 2 1 against Bravo. So Bravo to lose 2 1. I think the same, yeah. That's a good that's a good bet. I don't think we're gonna see lots of goals, but I think there will be definitely a struggle. I just think I mean in the in the warm-up, Selja been putting everything in the corners. So they're obviously decent. And they're not even taking shots at the goal on the other side. <laughs> they haven't even had shooting practice. Yeah, they're just taking kickabouts with the boys. Maybe that's because they're so good. They don't need it. Time will tell. absolutely hammering down. They're gonna have to put the cover on VAR in a minute or it's gonna short circuit.
The scoreboard has gone down, it's just one. Oh, there it is! Like magic. The rain is only getting worse. <laughs> Absolute tap in and bravo the early lead. And look what it means to them. I'm not sure we're going to get a full 90 in this game. This rain keeps up. Points are at stake here. Bloody hell. We're still going. Shots. Not with that cross. And there's half time. Look at the state of that pitch. Raking the puddles off the grass. I don't know if that is a proven technique or not, but. I mean, these two men are not going to be able to drain this pitch in time. <laughs> That's just a fact. There we go, full time. No second half. It ends 1-1. Well, Bravo won. Selgin nil at the break. Um, unsure at the moment whether we're going to get a second half or not. Um, as the pitch is in dreadful condition, but as I speak, the um, pitch drainers have come out to try and get rid of the puddles, but um, it's not looking good. I don't know how they're going to do it. There's not enough, I don't know, there's a, 15 minutes is not enough time for all those people to stab all these puddles. In fact, someone is raking it off. I think we're getting the bounce test here, and uh, judging by what we've seen from the guys at halftime warming up, it's not going to pass. I mean, it didn't hurt, did it? He is throwing it in puzzles. He wants to get cancelled. At least be fair. Yeah, uh, it's over. <laughs> I don't blame them if they do call it off, that's all I'm saying. Right, well I guess we're, I guess we're heading off then. I presume the match is going to be replayed some other time. But uh, 
much of the unhappiness of that guy over there, the game is off. So, this is goodbye from Ljubljana then. <laughs> bit, of a, bit of an anti-climax, but uh, we go. Game off. Devastated.